gotta catch them all, a phrase that has been synonymous with Pokemon since the very beginning. In fact, in the early days of the series, the Pokemon logo was often depicted with it under the iconic yellow and blue Pokemon lettering. All the Generation 1 and 2 Pokemon games, as well as lots of merchandise around the time, have these words somewhere on the box. However, starting with the Generation 3 games on the Game Boy Advance, the Gotta Catch Em All text was nowhere to be seen on the box. This is because of Game Freak beginning their trend of releasing both remakes of older games and new games each generation. In Generation 1, you were able to complete the decks with just red and blue, the two games corresponding with each other, and as such, their box art said Gotta Catch Em All. Interestingly, the yellow version box doesn't say Gotta Catch Em All anywhere on it, but it does say that you have to link to red and blue to catch all 150 monsters on both the front and the back, which is close enough I guess. Moving on to Generation 2, all three games, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, have Gotta Catch Em All on the front of the box. Now here's where it gets interesting, Generation 3. Starting with Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, the words Gotta Catch Em All were no longer anywhere on the box since it is impossible to catch them all with just these two games. We can assume that Fire Red and Leaf Green were not yet in development because of this, and when Fire Red and Leaf Green released two years later, the phrase stayed absent from their boxes. Emerald version also had Gotta Catch Em All absent from its packaging, and ever since then, with more and more Pokemon being added, the phrase was essentially being phased out since it would become impossible to catch them all. And finally, with Pokemon Sword and Shield, the final nail in the coffin occurred with Dexit. From then on, it would not be possible to have every single Pokemon in one game ever again, effectively killing the Gotta Catch Em All motto. 